Target announced it is moving pride displays and removing some pride items after some customers threatened employees and destroyed displays. This comes as Bay Area organizers of pride celebrations are getting ready for June events. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama joins us now live from the newsroom with their reaction. Jana. Julie, SF Pride organizers told me today that they feel this year celebrating pride is more important than ever, and they're hoping to show the world the importance of inclusion. San Francisco Pride preparations are in full swing as the city gets ready for celebrations in June and the Pride Parade that draws people from around the world. It feels um, like this pride is more important than ever. Like this is going to be the most important pride in many, many years. Suzanne Ford, the executive director of San Francisco Pride, says that's because this year LGBTQ plus people across the nation have been at the center of a societal and political battle over rights and recognition. We have to show the country and the world that in San Francisco that we are not just tolerated, we are celebrated. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, nearly 500 anti-LGBTQ plus bills have been introduced in state legislatures since the start of this year. And some 17 states have passed laws that restrict or ban gender-affirming care for transgender youth. Companies are also at the center of the battle, facing cultural divides among customers. Target said it would relocate Pride Month displays and remove some products Wednesday after it said people destroyed displays and threatened employees. Misleading videos online falsely claimed that Target was selling bathing suits for trans children to conceal private parts. It comes as Disney battles Florida over LGBTQ inclusion, Bud Light faced backlash over a trans spokesperson, and the L.A. Dodgers swung from including to excluding and then re-including the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence to Pride Night. The backlash in this particular moment in time is lasting a lot longer than it has historically. Historically, you've seen backlashes from companies taking a socially active view. Dick's Sporting Goods deciding not to sell guns in their, in their stores. But it's been a blip. It's been a short backlash with negligible impact on the company. So the times have really changed. Kelly McElhaney, professor at the UC Berkeley Haas Business School, says company executives face higher risks taking a stand on social issues and need to be very clear about their reasons. The San Francisco LGBT Center says it's trying to help, partnering with nine LGBTQ centers in other states where rights are under attack. We see it as a responsibility to be able to connect with some of the states that are experiencing some of the hardest um, challenges right now. And the SFLGBT Center says they're providing supplies and support to those other centers. SF Pride says they're hoping that corporate sponsors will still step up this year despite the challenges to help support Pride events. Julie. Jana Katsuyama in the newsroom tonight. Thank you, Jana.